Hey, good evening, Map Your Map Investments. Bringing you another video today. Three today. I'm on a roll. Um, so, tough day today in the market. We had the um, Dow Jones down 179. At one point, it was down 400. S and P down 34. At one point, it was down probably 60 plus. Nasdaq was down over 300. At one point. And uh, small caps were also down under, uh, well under the 2000 mark. Um, all of them pretty much, uh, NASDAQ and small caps over down over 1.5%. The smaller losers were the Dow Jones and the S&P. The VIX ended up uh, 5% almost to 32. So we still have an elevated VIX, which is good for, for premium sellers. Um, the theme today, while looking at the most actives on the bar chart, I mean, let's just let's just look at the green stocks. Uh, Oxy Petroleum up 17% to $56. Cliff Natural Resources, 26 bucks. Uh, Freeport McMoran, a copper gold play, up a dollar. Exxon Mobil up three. Barrick Gold up 63 cents. Chevron up 243. Intel's up. Intel, I think, is a value play. Uh, CSX, a train company, up. BTU, my my best position um, that I've had, uh, up over 150 percent. Up today, 14 percent. A coal play. Mosaic, a fertilizer, up seven percent. So you get the you get the drift. It's a uh, coal, a monster, up 10 percent. United Steel's up 2%. Rig, up, uh, they do all those platforms, up 12%. It, it, it's just all commodity driven. Kroger's had a good quarter. Everybody's going to uh, Public, Safeway, Kroger, Walmart, Target, wherever they do their food shopping um, uh, instead of dining out. I, I, at some point, you know, um, it might seem prudent to just go out and eat because by the time you turn up in your stove and cook and clean, I don't know, I pay a couple bucks more and just eat out. But that's just me. Um, but you get the drift here. Looking at it, well, let's just finish it. Cisco a defensive stock up. Devon Energy up. Lockheed Martin uh, defense company up. Coca Staple up a little bit. Verizon up a little bit. Ag. Another uh, a silver miner, Newmont, a miner, Valley, a miner, Avago had a good quarter. Um, so yeah, it's pretty amazing. I got beat up today, but you know I do have a lot of these um, miners, energy plays. Um, but I do have the tech that I feel is undervalued, which there are some deals out there. Um, we're getting the rotation out of these high growth names because interest rates are supposed to go up and when they go up they affect these growth companies if you take a look at the ARC fund Kathy Wood the uh, the goddess of uh, of innovation stocks she's been decimated um, this thing was at 132 at the high it's been chopped in half literally um, so you gotta be careful um, think for yourself look at the trends um, I'm not saying there's not value in 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 the tech space. There are deals to be had, and you're going to have one of these days coming up that you're going to see tech up big and a rotation out of these energy names and ag names and miners. We do have a little bit of overbuying in the commodity space, but I think the trend is higher in this space. Um, we're definitely heading into an infl inflationary environment. It's not. It's not going to go away. It's not transitory. It's here to stay. Um, I don't think we're going to see houses back to what they used to be. Um, you know, at two fifty, three hundred thousand, you're going to have to pay up for a decent house um, unless interest rates really get elevated and really put a damper on the housing market. Um, used cars are up there. Um, they're making highs. They've stayed up there. They, they will pull back because they're depreciating assets. But the new cars, 
are a lot more expensive so that will keep the demand on the used cars up there and elevated and there's a limited supply because of the pandemic uh, Rivian was down again today on taking a beating in the stock uh, I rolled it out into April and if you know what I mean by rollout I did a video on Billy uh, I never really do a lot of videos on rolls but I did a roll in Rivian um, I think they raised the prices on their trucks uh, or their vehicles uh, by 12500 I, I think I was reading. Um, so they're not getting their hands on the material they need. The materials are expensive. Um, and I think inflation is here to stay. Um, so you got to be careful because there will be demand destruction in a lot of areas. Um, there, are, there, there are restaurants that will suffer. There are retail stores that will suffer. Um, and that's just a reality. Um, getting a swig of water here. Um, so yeah, that, that was, that's, that's the talk of the town inflation. Um, here's some of the latest news. Um, let's see what we got here. IRS has sent nearly 30 million refunds. This is the average payment. I haven't even done my income tax. I'll probably wait till the last minute. Um, it's just a lot of Russia news. I didn't really see a lot of um, news today besides just Russia. Oh, we had a good jobs report. So the jobs report rose surprisingly strong, unemployment uh, edge lower while wages were flat. So wages are not keeping up with inflation, which is bad. And the Target CEO was on TV the other day on CNBC, and he was talking that they're, they're paying some people in some areas uh, 24 bucks an hour. So that's just insane. That's basically almost $50,000 a year, which is great. But... I mean, inflation is a tax without re representation. Um, the government either either collects money via tax to pay for its expenditures, expenditures, or they, you know, to have a balanced budget, which they don't. I think they have a three trillion dollar deficit uh, annually right now, or they they cut government spending to meet the budget, like you would do in your household. So if you have uh, two thousand dollars in bills and and uh, and you're only making a thousand, you got to cut your bills down to at least a thousand, etc. Same thing with 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 the government. So when they can't make ends meet, they print money, and that's what's going on. And when you print money, it 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 it, it hurts our purchasing power. It diminishes it. So. Um, gold and silver are, are assets that at least protect your purchasing power. Um, here are the futures, which close in three minutes. And obviously, the 10-year was down to 175 as people left the market and came into, um, into bonds. The dollar was up big today I think if I'm not mistaken to 98 and a half oil well let me go down the line so foreign currencies most were down except a couple which are like safety trades like the yen and the and the Swiss franc um, oil up seven bucks over seven dollars a barrel to 115 the high was one The high on the day was 116. Here's the chart. Just crazy, man. And there were guys out there today saying easy 125. Some people are saying 150. Some guys are even saying 200 a barrel. Um, it's pretty nuts. Bitcoin got hit under 40K. Uh, SP down 40. Uh, right now, currently, this is live. Gold. Gold up 40 bucks almost to 
four. It's at the high, basically, of the day. Um, I have a lot of gold mining stuff. They're doing well, and I also have, I like buying coins, silver, and gold. Um, so basically, consider me a, a, a stacker when I can. Um, feeders were down. Uh, what about hogs? Hogs down and cattle down. So that's pretty good. We saw the meats give up some of their their gains. That's good. That's good for us. For those that like to eat meat, which I do. I don't like tofu or pea burgers, whatever you want to call it. Um, small caps down 35. NASDAQ down 230. Uh, Dow Jones 217, Palladium and Platinum, boy, look at Palladium, 3,000. My favorite play in Palladium is SBSW, really like this one. Um, I have, what do I have in these guys? I want to say I have, I have a, uh, I have a zebra out a year from now. Of fifty percent, boy, I got hit with tiredness. I am a little tired. Um, need coffee. I did forty-two trades today. Forty-two trades. Here's BTU, up thirteen hundred, up one hundred and fifty percent. Um, and this is most of my my winners here. You can see, you know, Mosaic, Avis, Rana, Car, United Steel, Tech, Copper, Play, Palladium, Play, Aluminum, and Play, uh, CRM. Um, I'm down. It's just a roll. But they reported a good quarter, and it's undervalued. Deer, energy ETF, a shipper, energy, gold, silver, Avago, uh, iron condor, which you guys saw my earning trade. It expired worthless. It was in my earlier video. Pfizer, Allison Transmission. Ooh, what did Allison do today? Up 27 cents. Uh, SQM, lithium, Costco, going to expire worthless. Another... Uh, Energy play here, Funko, earnings trade, Marvell, another one. I think this is a Apache, APA, GDX, and so forth. Uh, let's continue down the line here. Platinum up, natural gas almost at five bucks. Silver, silver almost at 26. I wonder if silver hit 26 today. I was trying to see a 26 print, hit 25.92. Silver, in my opinion, is the most undervalued asset on a planet Earth, but that's just me. VIX up two. So we went into the weekend with higher VIX. Usually they take VIX out. They usually take premiums out. They didn't. We did give some back on soybeans and corn. Corn ended up grain, uh, up on the grains, and uh, wheat is a lock limit. But the ETF that everybody's been piling in was down. So And the front month in wheat was down. 167 so we'll see what actually I want to see something here 87 they did have some volume we'll see what happens with uh, when it opens uh, it hasn't opened it's just been lock limit up every day on that um, and then we talked about interest rates going up uh, I want to say that 30-year mortgage is over four. That should cool down a little bit. I want to say that four something. Uh, four, four, three, two on the 30-year. So they've gone up. They've gone up some. Um, what else did I want to touch base on? Let's see how much time I have. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes into the video. Um, so I on Billy I did my my earnings trades. You saw that I finally ended up um, There were a lot of them that I was managing to the last minute. These are all gonna expire worthless Coupon man, I couldn't get a, I can't believe it. It went down and it didn't go over 22. So what I did in coupon was I added a little bit more risk so I took the the uh, 
the 2221 and I expanded a little bit more and I collected 40 cents and I put it out to April because I think it's oversold it's oversold and uh, I don't really have a lot of international exposure and they're like the Amazon of oh crap I think they're like the Amazon of Korea let me see here CPNG. Uh, they are the Amazon of Korea, yeah, pretty much. I think the Korea? Yeah, Korea, Korea, right here, Korea. So, yeah, they're like the Amazon of Korea. They have a lot of institutional ownership. Uh, $37 billion company. I guess I could go lower, was at 16 bucks, but I, I rolled it out. Um, they missed. Their sales were up, like they said, wow. Their sales were five million up from three eight. Their revenue grew thirty nine percent. So they're growing. It's a high tech company, and obviously, with with this going on, they got hit. A lot of names are getting hit, regardless. Even if they report good and they're in the tech sector, they're getting hit. Everybody's going, everybody's, the street is piling into energy, commodities, stuff like that. But there are some, some bargains out there in tech. Um, in bar chart, so that was, that was the only one that I let, was left to roll. You know, AMD is undervalued. Uh, and I'll, I'll go down the line here for like the top ones here. I think AMD is undervalued. Uh, NVIDIA is getting undervalued. Facebook is extremely undervalued. Amazon's undervalued. Microsoft is it's priced okay, but you know it's big defensive company. Alibaba is probably one of the most undervalued companies in the world. But the problem is you have China regulation uh, affecting them. Uh, what else is on? Square is undervalued, so you're seeing a lot of tech names undervalued. Intel's undervalued. Uber's undervalued. Snap is undervalued. Uh, PayPal's undervalued. Uh, Gap is undervalued. going off the top of my head for my homework. Netflix is undervalued. Twitter is undervalued. So you can see it's a lot of tech names. Google might be priced right. It might have dropped below and it's undervalued. SE is undervalued extremely. They're out of Singapore if I'm not mistaken. I need to look up a Vago and Taiwan Semiconductor to see if they're undervalued. Um... Uh, Best Buy was undervalued. It's getting close to fair value. And they're buying back stock. I would have to look at Roblox, but they're high growth. I don't think they're making money. Moderna's undervalued. So those are pretty much the ones that are undervalued. Um, so today, mechanically, I always come here and look at this every day, and I systematically have my approach. Um, what did I do today? I did today, um, what did I do? So I think Cliff is uh, Cl Cliff is undervalued. I sold, uh, let's go over here to my orders for today. And let's just put them by alphabetical order here. So Cliff, I sold, uh, put, the April 25 put for two bucks almost. Sold that. Uh, trying to see off the top of my head because I usually go down this line here and I do stuff systematically. BTO, BTU is my biggest winner right now. Up huge. BTU, we could put it up here. I'm up on BTU. Why 
why isn't it giving me my stats on BTU? 1300, 150% almost on two positions. So that one's been good to me. So you know what the title of this video is going to be BTU. <laughs> BTU, they do coal. Um, coal prices are going through the roof. We got a clean breakout here. You can see here in the chart, boom, big bar, big breakout here. I wonder. If, oh, let me see something here. BTU. Wow, this is a twenty-year chart. Uh, twenty-year, I think it's twenty-year monthly. Yeah, twenty-year month. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Clean break, MACD crossover, MACD momentum, right here. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sending my BTU. Uh, looks like a good, a good cold play. So sticking with that one, BTU for you gamers is my name of my video. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Mosaic, I'm long. Uh, okay, so here we go. So I did a lot of strangles today here. When I started going down the line here, I did strangles. Why did I do strangles in these names? I'll tell you why. I don't like doing strangles in <clears throat> in tech or bio because of you know they can get bought out and you can get you can get slammed. So what is a strangle? A strangle. So the reason I was down today was because my portfolio is positive delta obviously you always want to be long the market your 401k is long over time the markets tend to go up you know what i'm saying so um delta meaning you know how many dollars you're long or short i was long and that's fine because i don't think you want to be too short when you look at the spy sorry i had to get some gum when you look at the SPY here, on the daily, I mean, we're like 10% off the highs. Let's go over here to, to FISBIS, see the performance here to date. So the S&P is down 10%. Can we be down 20? Sure, we can. I'm not saying we can. We can be even down more. I mean, we were up last year big time. We could probably look at here a year. For the year, up 15% still. So, yeah, we can give up some gains. And NASDAQ's up 10%, Dow Jones 8 and so forth. The Russell's down six for a year, but if you go year to date, meaning from January to now, a quarter, and these fund managers are basically quarterly guys. They manage money quarterly. Um, Nasdaq down fifteen percent, small caps down ten, SPY ten, Dow Jones eight. All commodities are up. Do you really want to be short? when a quarter of the year we're down be my guest i i i just i wouldn't be that's just me but whatever i mean the trend of your friend it seemed like everything was red today except commodities so a lot of rotation into commodity in in the in the uh in the futures and in the stocks so keep that in mind um all right so let me let me go back and, and let's see how much time i have i want to try and keep this to half an hour so i got five minutes so i'm going to talk a little bit about the strangles i did today i really don't talk about strangles strangles are very 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 they're not they're not defined risks they're 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 unlimited risk to the downside or upside so keep that in mind and i'll show you on the graph how i formulated this trades but they're delta neutral, so that meaning that you're not thinking that stocks are going to go up or down. It's just more of a high probability trade with high 
IV rank and your and your, your assumption is that the IV is going to contract and you'll be able to buy back this spread strategy for half. I hope you got that. Okay, so the first one I did was Delta Airlines, right? Why Delta? Feel safe doing it. Feel comfortable doing it. So what I did in Delta was right here. I sold the 4126 strangle. And I'll show you here for illustration purposes. You're going to love it here because you can see it really good here. Delta. So Delta has an IV rank of 88. Very high. We're going to go strangle here and we're going to go out 44 days. Right? And so the 42 uh, was 42.26, I want to say. Yes, sir. 40, uh, was it that one? 42, uh, 41, 26, sorry. Let's see, let's put it up here, Delta. I did it in my regular brokerage account. So here it is. It takes up 447 buying power, right? 41. So this is how it looks. So as long as Delta stays between 25, the dollar, co 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 the dollar collected minus your short strike 26 25 is your break even and 42 if it stays in this green range as decay goes over time should be able to buy this spread back for fifty dollars in the next 20 days that's the plan now you could try and wait and and, and just let it play the range and just collect the whole dollar you could do that too it's up to you okay so that was the first strangle I put. This is a 76% probability of profit trade. The next one I did was, I could just go off this. I don't need to go off bar chart. I could just, let me uh, do this by strangles. I did one, two, three, four, five, six strangles. So I did a strangle in KWeb, which is an ETF for China. EEM, Kroger, Delta, General Motors, and United Airlines. Okay? And I did a straddle. So what's a straddle? Let's take a look here. Straddle. I did a strad straddle in Norwegian. They had a 47 uh, IV rank. And this basically is the trade right here. I sold a 17 and a half and 17 and a half put call. Both for 345 credit takes 346 buying power, 55 probability of profit. Now you you what you want to do here is buy this spread back for about 25 percent. So 25 percent of 345 would be. Uh, let me grab my calculator because by the time this day my my brain is fried times 25 percent it's about 87 85 to 90 dollars you want to buy this you could try and get a hundred bucks out of it now what are your break-evens the credit collected minus your short strikes which is 1750 so 350 would be 14 and 21 so I hope I hope these strategies um, catch on to you and here they are vertical strangle straddle uh, iron condor, butterfly. I don't really do jay lizards. Need to go back to a drying board and maybe practice that and get some jay lizards on. Right now we're in an environment that calendars are not really a thing because IV is high. So calendars more for low low IV environment. We have the VIX over 30, so we're not doing that right now. Um, so yeah, I did that. And I did KWeb. They might be in there or saved because I I plan them out. So here it is. Here's K Web. A dollar six seventy four percent probability of profit. Um what's the other one? Emerging markets ETF EEM. This one I skewed a little bit to the long side. What do I mean by that? If you look right here, the deltas are positive, so I got positive eight deltas. 
that's why I said when you want to be neutral, this would be neutral, a 39.49, but I'm only getting 72 cent credit. And when I look at the chart at EEM, I see it's been sold off a lot. So I feel comfortable bringing this up a little bit to get my better credit. Hope you understand that. And looking at the chart as well, I kind of feel comfortable in this range. So I did that one. But it's leaning a little bit towards the long side if you look at the deltas. Uh, Kroger. Leaning a little bit to the short side. Obviously, Kroger was up 4 bucks today. So what I did, I sold the 65 call, 50 put for $1.64. 70% probability of profit on this trade. And it takes about 600 bucks in buying power. Uh, Delta, we talked about General Motors. And we're going to end it with these strangles. And um, I, if I do any videos over the weekend, maybe it'll be late at night on Saturday or Sunday. Or maybe in the car. I'm going to my therapy uh, with my daughter um, to watch her play soccer. I enjoy watching her play soccer. Uh, we go on the road. We're heading... Uh, to Tampa, to Tampa. So a nice little drive. It's about four hours. So she plays Saturday and Sunday, and I look forward to seeing her play, and I hope the girls win and do a good job. So um, GM, so I'll try and do some stuff, but I think I've done a lot of good videos today, and I think um, I will get more subscribers, I think. And uh, I think people will start catching on because I'm going to dedicate some more time to this because I'm passionate about it and, and you really need to do what you love, you know. Um, there's a psychology, psych psychological part to this. Not every day is going to be a good day and that's tough. But, you know, when you work in sales, which I do work in sales, there's some days that you don't, you, you don't sell. And then there's days that you sell a lot. And you just got to roll up with the punches and set yourself up that if you don't have a good month, you have enough, you know, I've done well, thank God, um, that I can, you know, have a string of bad months. But I think with my knowledge and my hustle, I, you know, I think the sky's the limit. And I think I'll be all right. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is GM, uh, dollar four with a 75 pro probability of Profit with a little bit of long delta, 40, 425 buying power reduction. And then the last one uh, was United Airlines, which I did 25.45 for a dollar 21 at an 81 probability of profit, uh, 367 buying power reduction. So, yeah, those were my strangles and straddles today. Um, did close CrowdStrike for another profit, like I mentioned in my earlier video. I closed my corn for another credit. Uh, rig, I got long via uh, Zebra. Closed out some futures. Sold Cliff, I did my strangles. Did some put verticals. Most of these are put credit spreads, which those of you who know, know what they are from what I do. And these are just uh, rolls. I did a, 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 a video on Billy. And I did the same thing with Goodyear, Smith & Wesson, which I talked about, which hit me um, in the earnings. But I rolled it for $0.05 cent credit from in April. Vive, I got beat up. I rolled. Octa never came back to me. I rolled. And I talked to you about coupons. And that's pretty much it, folks. That was my eventful day today. Down on the PL. Whatever. It is what it is. It's another good day. We're above ground breathing. Be grateful. Be smart. Study. Work hard. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Like, sh like, subscribe, share, comment below. Anything that you might be looking at. Um, and be safe. Bye-bye.